Matthew Dita, who is getting reeled in now by this chase pack. Julie, what can you tell us? Well, Mark, I think the drama is about to unfold. Uh, from my vantage point, it looks like uh, Dita's lead is now only about 15, 20 seconds. I believe that's Galina Bogomolova leading Burhan Adairi. Yeah, I, I say within the next maybe 800 meters, we're going to have a new leader in this women's race. Do you have any sense at all, Julie, that Constantina would have anything left in the tank to be able to go once she gets caught, or is once she gets caught, is it over? You know, right now, what I can see is that the cadence with Bo Bogomolova and Adairi coming up from behind her is just so much quicker than Dita's. Dita's been past the last two miles by probably 30 men and has had no response. I think this the race will be over. All right, Julie, we'll continue to watch as we watch a split screen now. The men on the left, Constantina struggling as the, the rest of the women try to reel her in. Right now it's Daniel Jenga, Robert Chariot running 1-2 with less than a mile to go here. Yeah, Chariot, the, the champion of this crowd, but Jenga, he was the lone guy at the press conference who was willing to come straight out and say, I'm prepared to win this race. And from a Kenyan standpoint, that's as close to smack talking as you're ever going to get. <laughs> Another move on the part of Chariot. You can tell Chariot's not comfortable waiting for the final kick because this is like the third or fourth acceleration he's made. He doesn't want it to be a kick. But every time he goes, Jenga has just enough not to get broken and to be able to tag on and then Rahan come right back Adairi. on him. Again, look at the women. Uh, Julie, you've called it. I mean, you said within 800 meters, this race would have a new leader. No, Boga Malova. And right now, it looks like Constantina Tomescu Dita is about ready to lose her lead. And she's being passed by Galina uh, Boga Malova, the youngster from Russia, and that is Berhan Aderi from Ethiopia, one of the top Ethiopian where there's another woman behind. They passed Dita, that's it. Um, and Dita has no response, no response at all. And Bogomolova is really, really pushing this and giving Adaria a run for her money. Is this a miscalculation by Constantina? She went out so quick, or was it? Did did was she unaware that she was running that fast early in this oh, race? Oh no, no, no! It's a miscalculation, but it, it it's both a fault and a blessing of her. She's courageous and she's gutsy, and Dita wants to go out hard, and she always believes she can hold it. The marathon is unforgiving. You cannot do that up to 20 miles. You can't be over your head like that. It just, it, your body can't sustain it. Okay, who is Galina Bogomolova, the youngster here in the black armbands? She is ran this PR 221.58 in, in uh, London, uh, London and, and it was 10 minutes faster than her marathon, her first marathon in Las Vegas that she ran three months before that. So she is also a speedster and has run well in the European 10,000 meter championships. Adare behind her, the Ethiopian. Uh, really, really tall for an Ethiopian. Has, has set a, a new Ethiopian marathon record in London uh, when she was uh, when she ran her 221. The the world uh, she she lost her Ethiopian record to her teammate in Berlin, and she uh, really wants to get it back. She's very very anxious. She's highly competitive in Ethiopian.